This time five years ago, I walked into the sidebar in Columbus, Ohio, and noticed a beautiful black woman sitting in the corner with her legs crossed, shiny as ever. On December 31st, 2014, you sat down next to me at a bar and we started talking. We bypassed empty small talk and jumped right into learning about each other. The conversation flowed so easily. Evelyn, you are perfect for me. I would not be here if it wasn't for you. You totally changed my life. I'm a better person now than before I met you. As we continue to grow together, I will comfort you. I will love you. I will protect you. And I will also challenge you to be the best Evelyn you can be. Our conversations are one of the best parts of our relationship. You are adventurous, and by being with you, I have learned to be more adventurous as well. You accept me fully for who I am and let me know how special I am. It's like we wrote the vows together, but we didn't. This is so wild. The first light's morning glimmer, Harley. All my questions linger. Together, we are unstoppable force just like Thanos with all the Infinity Stones. <laughs> there will be a lot of long nights and calculated chess moves that we will continue to do together. I know your game and I know you're ready to create mayhem with me all over LA. I am ready for a lifetime of loving you, comforting you, watching all the series we can late at night before you fall asleep. There's one special thing that you always said to me, that I'm your favorite person now. And I always took that to heart because you're always my favorite person as well and you're my best friend. I love you to death and I'm ready to continue this with you. I love you. any situation fun and hours fly by when I'm with you. You are my favorite person. No matter what we take on, I feel safe and confident because I know that you've got my back. It is the manifestation of our promise to keep growing together, to keep pushing each other to be better, and to take on anything that comes our way as a team. And that is a promise I intend to keep for the rest of my life. Allow me to introduce to you all, for the first and likely only time, Mr. and Mrs. James and Evelyn Gilmore. You may now kiss your bride. I am so delighted to have family, and this is family. This is what family is, and our family is not traditional by any stretch of the imagination. But there's lots of love, and even though we may not know everybody's name in this room, thank you for being here to celebrate a new beginning for you. Congratulations. I can't believe you found me. 
in front of everybody here to all say this tonight. You have my allegiance to you and support because you have my daughter and I love you for who she is to you. And I couldn't be happier for you for the choice that my daughter made. Mrs. Gilmore, I love you and I thank you. Over the last five years, I watched him become an amazing man, um, a better man, a better father, a better friend. So I thank you for that. Gil, don't fuck this up. <laughs> My prayer for the two of you is that your love and that your marriage will be a testimony to your generation and that your children will witness what true love and what true marriage is and they will know that marriage is still honorable. And over the years, James, you've really impressed me. I mean, I think you were able to really deal with all the personalities of Evelyn. So when she's silly and she's doing her body rolls and shimmies and all this, he's getting right behind her. And when she's being over analytic and super organized and wants to be married by 2020, you got that done as well, right? In the nick of time. Good job, good job. You came through in the clutch. <laughs>